boy of 16 years turns failure into success. A young boy who was attending high school said to me, I am getting very poor grades. My memory is failing. I do not know what is the matter. I discovered that the only thing wrong with this boy was his attitude, which was one of indifference, Sulan Dam, though, and resentment, Suan Jian, toward some of his teachers and fellow students. I taught him how to use his subconscious mind, and how to succeed in his studies. He began to affirm certain truths several times a day particularly at night prior to sleep, and also in the morning after awakening. These are the best times to impregnate, Lam Tham Huan, the subconscious mind. He affirmed as follows, I realize that my subconscious mind is a storehouse of memory. It retains, July, everything I read and hear from my teachers. I have a perfect memory, and the infinite, Vo Tan, Vo Han, intelligence in my subconscious mind constantly reveals to me everything I need to know at all my examinations, whether written or oral. I radiate love and goodwill to all my teachers and fellow students. I sincerely wish for them success and all good things. 123. This young man is now enjoying a greater freedom than he has ever known. He is now receiving all A's. He constantly imagines the teachers and his mother congratulating him on his success in his studies. How to become successful in buying and selling and buying and selling. Remember that your conscious mind is the starter and your subconscious mind is the motor. You must start the motor to enable it to perform its work. Your conscious mind is the dynamo that awakens the power of your subconscious mind. The first step in conveying your clarified desire, idea, or image to the deeper mind is to relax, immobilize the attention, get still, and be quiet. This quiet, relaxed and peaceful attitude of mind prevents extraneous matter and false ideas from interfering with your mental absorption of your ideal. Furthermore, in the quiet, passive, and receptive attitude of mind, effort is reduced to a minimum. The second step is to begin to imagine the reality of that which you desire. For example, you may wish to buy a home, and in your relaxed state of mind affirm as follows, the infinite intelligence of my subconscious mind is all wise. It reveals to me now the ideal home, which is central, ideal, is in a lovely environment, meets with all my requirements, and is commensurate with my income. I am now turning this request over to my subconscious mind, and I know it responds according to the nature of my request. I release this request with absolute faith and confidence in the same way that a farmer deposits a seed in the ground, trusting implicitly in the laws of growth. The answer to your prayer may come through an advertisement in the paper, through a friend, or you may be guided directly to a particular home, which is exactly what you are seeking. There are many ways by which your prayer may be answered. The principal knowledge, in which you may place your confidence, is that the answer always comes, provided you trust the working of your deeper mind. 124. You may wish to sell a home, land, or any kind of property. In private consultation with real estate brokers I have told them of the way I sold my own home on Orlando Avenue in Los Angeles. Many of them have applied the technique I used with remarkable and speedy results. I placed a sign which read, for sale by owner in the garden in front of my home. The day after I said to myself as I was going to sleep, supposing you sold your house, what would you do? I answered my own question and I said. I would take that sign down and throw it into the garage. In my imagination I took hold of the sign, pulled it up from the ground, placed it on my shoulder, went to the garage, threw it on the floor, and said jokingly to the sign, I don't need you anymore. I felt the inner satisfaction of it all, realizing it was finished. The next day a man gave me a deposit of $1000 and said to me, take your sign down. We will go into escrow now. Immediately I pulled the sign up and took it to the garage. The outer action conformed to the inner. There is nothing new about this. As within, so without, meaning according to the image impressed on your subconscious mind, so it is on the objective screen of your life. The outside mirrors the inside. External action follows internal action. Here is another very popular method used in selling homes, land, or any kind of property. Affirm slowly quietly, and feelingly as follows, 
Infinite intelligence attracts to me the buyer for this home who wants it and who prospers in it. This buyer is being sent to me by the creative intelligence of my subconscious mind, which makes no mistakes. This buyer may look at many other homes, but mine is the only one he wants and will buy, because he is guided by the infinite intelligence within him. I know the buyer is right, the time is right, and the price is right. Everything about it is right. The deeper currents of my subconscious mind are now in operation bringing both of us together in divine order. I know that it is so. Remember always, that what you are seeking is also seeking you, and whenever you want to sell a home or property of any kind, there is. 125. Always someone who wants what you have to offer by using the powers of your subconscious mind correctly, you free your mind of all sense of competition and anxiety in buying and selling. How she succeeded in getting what she wanted There is a young lady who regularly comes to my lectures and classes. She had to change buses three times, it took her one and a half hours each time to come to the lectures. In one lecture I explained how a young man who needed a car in his work received one. She went home and experimented as outlined in my lecture. Here is her letter and part, narrating her application of my method, and published by her permission, Dear Dr. Murphy, this is how I received a Cadillac car, I wanted one to come to the lectures regularly. In my imagination I went through the identical process I would go through if I were actually driving a car. I went to the showroom, and the salesman took me for a riding one. I also drove it several blocks. I claimed the Cadillac car as my own over and over again. I kept the mental picture of getting into the car, driving it, feeling the upholstery, etc., consistently for over two weeks. Last week I drove to your lectures in a Cadillac. My uncle in Inglewood passed away, and left me his Cadillac and his entire estate. A success technique employed by many outstanding executives and businessmen There are many prominent businessmen who quietly use the abstract term, success, over and over many times a day until they reach a conviction that success is theirs. They know that the idea of success contains all the essential elements of success. Likewise, you can begin now to repeat the word, success to yourself with faith and conviction. Your subconscious mind will accept it as true of you, and you will be under a subconscious compulsion to succeed. 126. You are compelled to express your subjective beliefs, impressions, and convictions. What does success imply to you? You want, undoubtedly, to be successful in your home life and in your relationship with others. You wish to be outstanding in your chosen work or profession. You wish to possess a boat tie full home, and all the money you need to live comfortably and happily. You want to be successful in your prayer life and in your contact with the powers of your subconscious mind. You are a businessman also because you are in the business of living. Become a successful businessman by imagining yourself doing what you long to do, and possessing the things you long to possess. Become imaginative, mentally participate in the reality of the successful state make a habit of it. Go to sleep feeling successful every night, and perfectly satisfied, and you will eventually succeed in implanting the idea of success in your subconscious mind. Believe you were born to succeed, and wonders will happen as you pray. Profitable Pointers 1. Success means successful living. When you are peaceful, happy, joyous, and doing what you love to do, you are successful. 2. Find out what you love to do, and then do it. If you don't know your true expression, ask for guidance, and the lead will come. 3. Specialize in your particular field and try to know more about it than anyone else. 4. A successful man is not selfish. His main desire in life is to serve humanity. 5. There is no true success without peace of mind. 6. A successful man possesses great psychological and spiritual understanding. 127. 7. If you imagine an objective clearly, you will be provided with the necessities through the wonder-working power of your subconscious mind. 8. Your thought fused with feeling becomes a subjective belief, and according to your belief is it done unto you. 9. The power of sustained imagination draws forth the miracle-working powers of your subconscious mind. 10. If you are seeking promotion in your work, Imagine your employer, supervisor, 
or loved one congratulating you on your promotion. Make the picture vivid and real. Hear the voice, see the gestures, and feel the reality of it all. Continue to do this frequently, and through frequent occupancy of your mind, you will experience the joy of the answered prayer. 11. Your subconscious mind is a storehouse of memory. For a perfect memory, affirm frequently, the infinite intelligence of my subconscious mind reveals to me everything I need to know at all times, everywhere. 12. If you wish to sell a home or property of any kind, affirm slowly, quietly, and feelingly as follows, infinite intelligence attracts to me the buyer for this house or property, who wants it, and who prospers in it. Sustain this awareness, and the deeper currents of your subconscious mind will bring it to pass. 13. The idea of success contains all the elements of success. Repeat the word, success, to yourself frequently with faith and conviction, and you will be under a subconscious compulsion to succeed. Scientists use the subconscious mind Many scientists realize the true importance of the subconscious mind Edison, Marconi, Kettering, Poincaré, Einstein, and many others have used the subconscious mind. It has given them the insight and the know-how for all of their great achievements in modern science and industry. Research has shown that the ability to brain into 128 Action The subconscious power has determined the success of all the great scientific and research workers. An instance of how a famous chemist, Friedrich von Stradenitz, used his subconscious mind to solve his problem is as follows, he had been working laboriously for a long time trying to rearrange the six carbon and the six hydrogen atoms of the benzene formula, and he was constantly perplexed and unable to solve the matter. Tired and exhausted, he turned the request over completely to his subconscious mind. Shortly after Ward, as he was about to board a London bus, his subconscious presented his conscious mind with a sudden flash of a snake biting its own tail and turning around like a pinwheel. This answer, from his subconscious mind, gave him the long-sought answer of the circular rearrangement of the atoms that is known as the benzene ring. How a distinguished scientist brought forth his inventions Nikola Tesla was a brilliant electrical scientist who brought forth the most amazing innovations. When an idea for a new invention came into his mind, he would build it up in his imagination, knowing that his subconscious mind would reconstruct and reveal to his conscious mind all the parts needed for its manufacture in concrete form. Through quietly contemplating every possible improvement, he spent no time in correcting defects and was able to give the technicians the perfect product of his mind. He said, invariably, my device works as I imagined it should. In 20 years there has not been a single exception. How a famous naturalist solved his problem Professor Agassiz, a distinguished American naturalist, discovered the indefatigable activities of his subconscious mind while he slept. His widow, in her biography of her famous husband has reported the following. 129. He had been for two weeks striving to decipher the somewhat obscure impression of a fossil fish on the stone slab in which it was preserved. Weary and perplexed, he put his work aside at last, and tried to dismiss it from his mind. Shortly after, he waked one night persuaded that while asleep he had seen his fish with all the missing features perfectly restored. But when he tried to hold and make fast the image it escaped him. Nevertheless, he went early to the Jordan Day plants, thinking that on looking anew at the impression he should see something, which would put him on the track of his vision. In vain, the blurred record was as black as ever. The next night he saw the fish again, but with no more satisfactory result. When he awoke it disappeared from his memory as before. Hoping that the same experience might be repeated, on the third night he placed a pencil and paper beside his bed before going to sleep. Accordingly, toward morning the fish reappeared in his dream, confusedly at first, but at last with such distinctness that he had no longer any doubt as to its zoological characters. Still half dreaming. In perfect darkness, he traced these characters on the sheet of paper at the bedside. In the morning he was surprised to see in his nocturnal sketch features, which he thought it impossible the fossil itself should reveal. He hastened to the Jordan Day plants, and, with his drawing as a guide, succeeded in chiseling away the surface of the stone under which portions of the fish proved to be hidden. When wholly exposed it corresponded with his dream and his drawing, 
and he succeeded in classifying it with ease.